So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use Adobe Express Beginner's Tutorial. So I only have three steps for you here to go through, so please take note as we go on. And that being said, this should be the landing page on your end. And this is gonna be the link, new.express.adobe.com, and make sure you log in to Adobe with your account. So this is gonna be a free trial. There are some features here that won't be available for our end, because this is gonna be a free trial. But before we get started, just want to let you know that if you're watching this on your MacBook, your tablet, or any other devices rather than a Windows PC that I'm using right now, please stay in the video because the process is literally the same. And that being said, let me just click on premium right here to show you the pricing it has. So if I click on that one, you'll have a 30 day free trial, which is the one I have right now currently. And technically you will have payment on December 22. So right now, I'm still having that free trial and let's get started. So I want to highlight first the quick actions. The first thing, the most famous one is going to be removing the background. So if you're familiar with Canva, you're going to have to pay for the Canva Pro subscription to use the remove background option. But for Adobe Express, you can use it as free. It's going to be this one right here. It also has resized image, captioned video. It's perfectly um trending or rather Pretty popular for YouTube Shorts and TikTok videos, this option right here. You have Animate from Audio. You have Convert to GIF, Convert to MP4, Resize Video, same as Resize Image. So we have Merge Videos also. You have Generate QR Code, Convert to PDF. So here's a snapshot for everything that is going to be for quick actions. So again, they've added this part where it's text to image. It's actually an AI, their most native AI, which is going to be, I think, Firefly. Anyway, that being said, it has text effects also. It has edit PDF, combine files, convert to PNG. This is the most generic one, I think. And convert to JPEG. You have crop video also. But the, for me, basically, my most favorite one is to remove background, especially for those thumbnail creators out there. This might help you, so please take note about this one. So once you're good with this, simply click on escape. And for now, I'm going to browse the templates with you guys. So. These are the templates. We have Instagram square post, flyer, IG story or Instagram story. We have TikTok video. We have logo, SB post, Instagram reel, and so on and so forth. So for this video, I'm going to use this specific Instagram post. So once you hover your mouse, you'll have two options. You can create from scratch or browse from templates. So before we specifically browse on templates, I want to take you on the left side. On the left side, you have home, you have your stuff, the things you're working on. So I already have one entitled um, file here, the one I tried earlier. You have explore, these are the content or the things that other creators tried. So as you can see right there, there is that crown icon. So this is for premium subscription um, users. So the one that doesn't have a crown icon, you can simply click on it and use it as it is. So you can remix it and then start from this template. So you don't technically have to start from scratch. You have a reference, you have a starting point. And that being said, if we're satisfied with this one, I'm gonna take you step by step. Again, please take note, you can start here as it is, as long as you have access to the premium account if you wanna use the premium subscriptions. If you don't want that one, make sure you choose the one that doesn't have a crown logo. So you can use this as a um, inspiration or starting point. So let me just go back to home and then start from scratch with this Instagram square post. So create from scratch right there and it will lead me to the editing platform, which is this one. So if you're familiar with Canva, I'm pretty sure you know this one. And as you can see right there, it's technically starting from scratch. You'll have two options. You can upload from device or text to image. If you click text to image right there, you'll have this image size. But for now, I'm going to go back to the landing page and I'm gonna go here it's much more convenient for me so I'm gonna click on tracks to image and type in a coffee shop on the winter easy as that so click on generate it will lead me back to the editing platform from earlier but for now it will give me a specific background to work with right now it's still loading this will take around a few seconds but before we're waiting for it, you can see here, you can still edit the filter of the background. 
from Seatwave, Digital Art, Palette Knight, and so on and so forth. And as you can see right now, we already have this specific background that AI gave us. If you're not satisfied with this one, you can simply choose one of the four results over here. You can even load more. AI will generate some more for you. But for now, I think I'm satisfied with this one. This one right here, pretty good for me. I'm just going to go back, click back right there, and make sure, please take note about this one. Click set as page background. So you don't have to click it always. Like if you have the next page here, you don't have to click it as a page background anymore. Now, once you're good with this one, we can work with this. So before we get started, I just want to highlight that the quality of your work here, you don't really have to do as I did here. I'm just showing you the ropes. The idea here is the quality would be by your own preference, by your own skills. The limit here would be your imagination. So let's start from the basics. I'm going to teach you how to add a text. Simply on the left section, click on text over here. You'll have options, actually two options. You can add your text, add the text box as it is. It's pretty generic. Generic text as it is. Or the most recommended one, let me just remove this one. Okay, give me a second here. Just trying to remove this. Perfect. So the most preferable or recommended one is using a preset text. For example, this one right here. So let me just check if I have a specific text for me. For example, this one, if I'm satisfied with this. Pretty good, pretty good font, pretty good color combination. Now, I can use this as it is. But as you can see right now, it's a group, right? If you want to edit certain sentences, for example, you just want to edit this well, you can do so for sad and then done. This is going to be for happy. Now you can edit it as it is by changing the font size. If you want to check it, click on this one. Make sure you minimize it to the certain size that you're happy with. But for now, you cannot really edit it if you're grouped. So make sure to do that. Right click and click on this one. Click on lock. Make sure this is lock and unlock, right? Make sure this is unlocked. Once it says lock right there, you're going to take it to lock. This may sound confusing, but make sure your fonts are unlocked. That's the idea here. So to edit this one, making sure remove the Chinese or Japanese fonts right there. I'm not really going to use that. Then with the stars, I'm just going to use the stars later on. I'm going to leave one. So if I want to copy the design, I can just use it later on. And as you can see right there, it's perfectly simple how to use this. I'm just going to place it over here. I'm just type in coffee. And as you can see right there, it's a lot larger. I'm just going to use 200 for size. Coffee right there is good for me. Let me just fix this one. And then the happy one right there, coffee for free. Who doesn't like coffee for free, right? So I'm just going to edit this one. As you can see, once I highlight everything as it is, it will go for everything. But if I double click on the specific part of the sentence that I want to move, I can move it as so. Give me a second here. I'm just going to move coffee. Perfect. Now, I want to highlight this feature. So if you want to specifically edit a specific sentence, double click it. And you'll see this on the left side. You'll have the different font size for you. Uh, so, these are preset templates that are the AI recommends for you guys. If you want to edit by yourself manually, you can do so also by choosing a specific font style, choosing a specific uh, font size over here. If you want to underline it, the alignment, the bullets, the spacing is right here. Text layouts, the circle, you can choose bow, arch, really up to you. But for now, I'm going to go for default. The outline for this, it's really up to you if you want to choose a specific outline. For example, this one right there, it's pretty cool. It's a good looking. For your brand, this is going to be for subscription payment users. So we're going to leave it as it is first. But as you can see, there's an eyedrop icon here. If you click on that one, just choose a specific eyedrop. If you want to color or follow the color of specific things on the picture. Easy as that. Let me just fix this one. It's overlapping. It's really bothering me. And with that one, you can still edit the outline thickness, how much thickness you want your outline to be, and the opacity is going to be there. Now for text effects, 
you can either choose a specific text effect for loose, medium, or tight. It's really up to you. The sample effects are here, blue and gold. Uh, so, as you can see it right there. So, moving backwards here, you can choose the shadow. For example, you can choose halo right there, there smooth, hazy, or strong. I'm going to go for hazy here and choose the color of the specific shadow. So for recommended, as you can see right there, it gives us recommendation because based on our text, because since this is coffee, the recommended color would be based in color and coffee. How good is that, right? Again, it has an eyedrop icon. So if you want to copy certain color of the photo, please do so. Now going back to the shadow, you have shape. For the shape, you'll have basically the same thing as the text layout. The shape is basically the same thing. So for example, you can add specific shapes, designs on your text as so. Now lastly here, we have animation. This is actually a good one, but if it's not a video, it doesn't really matter. But for now, let's go for in and you'll have this drop animation as so. Let me just skip to right there. I don't need it. So you can just click on play it. As you see right there, it has been turned into a GIF or a video. That being said, you can still go back here and do so as you please. That's going to be text. Now, since we're done with text, I'm going to add the image now. So go back here on the media. And you can either upload from a device as so. If I click on this one, I can upload a sample photo that I got. For example, this one. I got it from the internet. I can use it as so. Remove the background by waiting for it to load up. Click remove background right there. And I can use this photo for my presentation or rather for this specific project. But for now, I'm going to use a photo that I got. Rather, I'm going to use a template or rather a photo inside Adobe Express. Much like Canva, search a photo for your example. For example, coffee. Click on enter. And then I have this specific photo. Let me just click on this one. And as you can see, the background doesn't work so well. So wait for it to load up. Click on remove background as so. Wait for it to load up. As you can see right there, I already have this specific photo in mind. Now, another feature for you, as you can see, it's overlapping with the text. Simply click right click on it and send backwards. And as you can see, the coffee right now is under the text. Easy as that. Not a problem at all. That being said, that's how to do this. Basically, those are the things and tips and tricks for you guys. Now, let's add another image just for the sake of the discussion. I'm going to click on Upload Devices. And then for now, I'm going to use another photo I got from the internet. It's going to be Gandhi. And with this one, you can also click on Effects, change the color as so. You can also change this one for adjustments. For example, you want to adjust the brightness, color. It's really up to you here. The limit here would be your imagination. Lastly, animation, this is going to be the looping. Earlier, we got the in, right? But for looping, this is going to be it. Now, one more time here for animation, there you have out. Basically, this is going to be the out throw of the specific photo. As you see right there, that's how you do it. And with those are the tips and tricks for you in this specific Adobe Express, how to use it as a beginner. If you're satisfied with this one, you can simply click on download. You can choose MP4 since we already have uh, animation to turn into an MP4. But if you don't have an MP4, you can simply click on PNG, best for images. As you can see right there, videos, animations, or audios on play when exported as a PNG. So I'm still going to download it as a PNG and wait for it to complete. Now, that being said, it's already completed on our desktop. If we open it, this is going to be our new photo. Easy as that. So we just created the photo from Adobe Express using the tips and tricks I gave you. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.